All right, the Reds, it is the Friday night and Liverpool are in a cup final and there is a mad stack kicking around that Liverpool have only won one Wembley Cup final in 15 years. Now, Jake, that, that just sounds mad to me because, you know, here we are going, we call it Anfield South. We've got all these, like, you know, flags and banners around it all. There's so many famous moments involving Liverpool at Wembley. And then I was hit with that stat this morning and I thought, fucking hell, I'm old. But then I thought, <laughs> fucking hell, we need to go to Wembley and win. I've only been once. I've only been once, and that was obviously last time. Last time we done it, and I was 18 as well, so I could have a bevy. And I actually managed to get my hands on it because by by luck I was on the players' train coming back. Okay. So I bounced, <laughs> bounced into the first class, pissed and grabbed it off the Jay Spearing, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is great. I got the picture there. I'll show you if you want. But um, no, I'm looking forward to go. I've done obviously I've done Cardiff being really really young, and done done that. Don't really remember much of the game because I was 18 and took well advantage of getting bevied. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to going this time. I think it's obviously a lot's been made about us not doing well in the domestic cups and whatnot, and I think that's mostly to do with the fact that we, you know, we haven't got the, the luxury of having big squads and whatnot. But yeah, can't wait to go for the day out. And then the big thing that I'm thinking about is if we win it, do we finally get our parade? Well, that's what I've been thinking about as well, yeah. and I think surely yeah. Yeah. Um, but there is there is now a nice buzz for that, isn't there? I mean, you know. Th- there isn't, there isn't. I've just seen the ticket arrangements and I'm, and I'm, now I'm like, fuck hell, hell. Any chance I'm going to get one? I'm in a ballot then. Yeah. Uh, but, that, but that aside, there is, there is a buzz about being in the final. It looks like the players are buzzing. It was nice to hear Klopp say that, you know, it was, they were all made up in the dressing room afterwards. So for all the talk of it not being that important and the least of your worries and all of those things, it's nice to have that buzz again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it was exactly what we needed, wasn't it, yesterday for, for the last two months. It's felt a little bit flat. You can't you know, quite put your finger on what it is. Just mm. generally, I think, you know, the world and, and what's going on with everything. So we needed that yesterday. And, and the way they did it was, was the best thing, I think. You know, you, you saw a side that was completely in control. You saw a side that, that looks like it's back to what it does best. And, you know, it, it's great to see the likes of Jones back and people like that in, in, in the side because... You know, there's the experienced players there and the ones that we know, we know what they can do, but we're seeing these other kids and, and other youngsters kind of getting a go as well. And that's what the League Cup's always been about at the beginning. And, and, and now, you know, you'd expect him to go strong when, it, you know, whatever team he has for the final. But there's, there's a lot of players that can say that they've been part of this journey and been part of this sort of this, this campaign. And, you know, Diego Jota's right at the top of that. You know, this is almost, if, you, if we do go all the way, hopefully we do. You know, this, a huge part of that is thanks to him. He scores a winning penalty. He gets, he gets the two goals yesterday. So, yeah, there's, there's a nice little story there for a lot of these Liverpool players. And it's, it's, a, it's a good little bit of a piece of momentum that we can kind of use going And he hasn't won any silverware yet yeah. for Liverpool. No, he hasn't. And, and, and those two goals might be two of the biggest goals he, he scored. So you, you saw how happy he was. I mean, the way he celebrated even after, um, after the VAR thing, it was brilliant. That, that all, it meant so much to all of them. So, and, and I think that kind of reflected in the away end as well. So, yeah. It, I'm feeling really good from it, even though I'm a bit hungry. I think that yellow kit, I think that yellow kit makes you feel good, you know? Yeah. Every time I yeah. see it, I'm like, boss, that. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's a traditional sort of thing yeah, to exactly. feel to as well. Um, I think on Diogo Jota as well, I think the fact that he stood up and, and, and was counted for and he was the mm. you know he was the one that was able to say like when Salah Mane is not here I'll st- you know I'll be the one that makes this happen he obviously is brilliant for the first goal I mean I need to watch it back again because it felt as if it took an age to just trickle yeah, yeah. in didn't not quite like sure that. but the run was, was incredible for him to yeah. get, get himself into that position obviously the second goal was excellent as well the touch the, the little lob brilliant um, but you know, isn't it brilliant that you know we lose Manny, we lose Salah, uh, and you've got a fella like Theo Jota there who is just every bit as good. What was it like being down there? Them five thousand Reds down there. Brilliant. What was yeah. the end like? I mean, this is it's it's one of the one of the other things that doesn't get talked about enough about the cups is that I mean I even like it when there's five thousand of the other team comes downfield, but obviously in a big game like that you get right the way around um, at Arsenal. It's a great atmosphere from start to finish, really. Um, the new Diogo Jota song was going the whole of halftime. It's one of those where, like, as soon as a new song starts, they just sing it and sing it and sing it until everyone knows. And people go, "What's the second? What's the first <laughs> line? What's he say at that point?" But you know, by the end, it was bouncing, and um, I'm I made up for him as well getting that song because he deserves it. Yeah. You know what a footballer. Um, yeah, it was it was a beller. Someone else we might need to start thinking about the song for Jake is, is Curtis because we've got the you know we've got this song about Trent the Scouser in our team. I mean, if Curtis continues on his trajectory, he thought he had a good game last night. Maybe, you know, he's going to need this. And I, I, I always wonder when they're both on the pitch, is he going, well, 
No one's more scouts than me. He's, he's from West Ham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely does, doesn't he? Yeah, like that. You can imagine them, can't you? Like yeah. the scouts in our team. What lad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from town. <Tom. laughs> All right, the Reds, thanks for watching a little bit of a premium Anfield rap video there. If you want to watch the rest of that show and get access to much, much more, click join below. That activates our YouTube membership. It means you get a premium video every day of the week. You get our post-match content. You get reviews, previews and exclusive interviews all here from the heart of Liverpool. Follow us, follow them. Up the Reds.